I'm, I'm excited because I get to pass the mic to the one and only DJ Cassidy. I love it. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm amazing, not only because I'm here to talk to you about Pass the Mic, but because we are talking right now on the legendary BLS. Now, let me tell you something. I grew up in New York City. So for <laughs> me to be on BLS is a yes. special moment. So let's just let let's appreciate every second here because I don't yes. do this every day. <laughs> let's take our time because there is no one else I'd rather be speaking to. Oh my God, the place, the number one place for R and B. I absolutely love 107.5 WBLS. So thank you. I'm sure the viewers watching right now appreciate the love. Now, DJ Cassidy, I have to ask. I know you've been asked this question a million times, but just in case the viewers who are tuned in may not know, tell us how did Pass the Mic come? Like, how did you bring that to life? Well, it was late April 2020 in the mm -hmm. heat of the quarantine. And I was FaceTiming with my friend and mentor, the legendary Verdine White of Earth, Wind & Fire. I called him to check up on him. It was late at night. He was sitting on his couch in red silk pajamas. And out of nowhere, the classic Earth, Wind & Fire song, That's the Way of the World, comes on my speakers. And here is Verdine, founding member of the band, and he starts singing along casually. Hearts of fire. Create love, desire. And with the world in flux, I just got a chill down my spine and said, how fortunate am I that I have relationships with so many of my musical heroes? How fortunate am I that I get to experience their music in this way? And I immediately thought, wouldn't it be incredible if I could figure out a way during this insane time to give people the feeling I have right now of connecting with their musical heroes in an intimate and personal way. And right then and there, I thought of Pass the Mic. I thought of the name and mm -hmm. I thought of the premise and I envisioned how it would look. And I told Verdine I had to hang up. I said, I call you tomorrow. <laughs> and I stayed up all night and I plotted out how to do this creatively, technologically, and what it became was a show where I sit in my living room in front of the fireplace with the lights dimmed and I drop only iconic records from the 70s, 80s, yeah. and 90s. And with each record I drop, I bring the iconic superstar who sings that record onto the screen to sing along to a verse and a chorus of their iconic song before passing the mic to the next. Yeah. And here we are about to premiere my sixth episode on Sunday, and I have now passed the mic to get this, 153 legendary artists. I've celebrated 95 iconic songs. And for those listening who haven't seen an episode, let me just, in 30 seconds, list you as many names as I can possibly. Earth, Wind & Fire, Cool & The Gang, Chaka okay. Khan, El DeBarge, Run DMC, yes. LL Cool J, Salt and Pepper, Naughty by Nature, Rakim, Big Daddy Kane, Genuine, Missy Elliott, Wyclef Jean, 112, Drew Hill, the list goes on. And this wow. Sunday, um, I'm bringing you another batch of incredible surprises. I'm super excited. Now, DJ Cassidy, I have to tell you, my favorite episode was the Soul Train Awards. <laughs> you brought out, I mean, I mean, you went through the list already, but we had Shaka Khan, we had Elder Barge, jo uh, Jody Wally. Jody uh, Wally, Sheila, Sheila E. Lisa, Lisa. Yep. I mean, oh my gosh. So do you have a favorite episode? You know, I don't have a favorite episode. They each hold up. Uh, um, a special place in my heart for different reasons. You know, yeah. the 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 second episode, volume two, mm. I celebrated my hip hop heroes. Now, for those not watching, um, who haven't yet watched that episode, yes, I brought together thirty seven of the most iconic hip hop artists of Thank the golden you. era. I'm talking yes. Run, DMC, L O Cool J, Chuck D, Rock Kim, Big Daddy Kane, Salt and Pepper, Naughty Man H. The list goes on. And that episode holds a special place in my heart because it was that era of hip hop 
that really lies at the foundation of who I am, at mm-hmm. the foundation of my musical identity, at the foundation of my DJing. It is that music that inspired me to go backwards and look to the soul music that came before it and look to the soul music that inspired it and gave birth to hip hop. And to have 37 of my hip hop heroes back to back to back yeah, uh, was really an incredible thing for me personally. And you know, LL Cool J called it one of the greatest moments for the culture he'd seen in over a decade. And wow. he went on Instagram Live the night I premiered the show unsolicited just to talk about it. And he brought on Dougie Fresh and they made me cry. Oh they, my God. They were talking about the show with such passion that I really just lost it. And you know, Dougie said something really profound to LL, really humble. And you know, Dougie's a great guy and a friend of mine, but he blew me away with this. He said to LL, he said, you know, watching what Cassidy just did. I was really reminded that no matter who we were at that time, no matter how big we each were in our own right, we were really just pieces of a puzzle. And when Cassidy put that puzzle together, it was a beautiful thing. And he brought tears to my eyes. I love Dougie for saying that. I love LL for the beautiful things he said that night. So look, they all hold a special place in my heart, but that episode... Um, hits different because those records really lie at the foundation of my youth, my childhood, and my yeah. inspiration to be a DJ. You know what's my fave um, is the transitions. You know, when you go through one artist to the music, and I'm trying to think, like, is there a method? I mean, you're a, you're a living legend <laughs> in your own right. right. But is there a method through, like, uh, the transitions <sighs> when you're selecting the artist along with the music? Well, for sure. I mean... In a general sense, I put together the shows, um, in essence, like a DJ set. All Mm -hmm. the songs have to flow together. If they wouldn't work together while I was DJing at a party, then they shouldn't flow together for past the mic. That's where Uh it starts. Uh Technologically, um, um, there is a, 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 a scientific method to my madness that I have not yet revealed and may never. Um, but really, it's all about feel. The, the, the technology is always there for any idea we have. Yes. What, what lies behind the magic of the show, I believe, and what lies behind the magic of any art and anything having to do with music is the feel. And if it feels right, you can always figure out how to make it work. Yes, yes. So, oh my God. So, I have like two minutes left. So, I have Please, to. Please take um, your time. New York <laughs> takes its time. <laughs> I have to wrap it up, but I'm going to play my favorite song. You actually played it last week, and I'm going to let you let the audience know exactly what's happening on Sunday with the Mother's Day edition. Um, we're going to have fun. So, let me play Elder Barge, Rhythm of the Night. It's your girl, Marie David, and I'm passing the mic over to DJ Cash. Are you feeling the rhythm? I love this. I'm feeling the rhythm right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. you are listening right now to El DeBarge Rhythm of the Night. This song and this artist closed the show on Pass the Mic Soul Train Edition. Now, if you like that show, if you like the first five episodes, if you love classic R&B and hip-hop, if you listen to BLS every day, you must tune in this Sunday, Mother's Day, May yes. 9th at 9 Eastern on BET for DJ Cassidy's Pass the Mic BET Mother's Day edition. You will be touched. You will be inspired. You will be uplifted. I will take you on a ride of surprises that you have never been on before. Tune in, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, you heard DJ Cassidy this Sunday for Mother's Day to BET Pass the Mic. The Mother's Day edition. Please make sure you tune in, support DJ Cassidy. Yeah. Thank you so much for just bringing us love, soul, music, all the nostalgia from just the music and everything that you do. So thank you so much. Thank you. Stay if you from New York, stand up right now. Yes. <laughs>